Veto dash repair. So back cover can be tight. Under test, the screen is pretty bad. So we'll get this swapped out for a new one. Four catches on the display mount, two small ones at the back and two main ones in the middle. Needle removal. Remove the counterweight on the main speed needle. Then just lever off. The rev counter and the fuel just twist and lift. twist and lift. Remove the plug for the backlights. Now to remove the screen, we push upwards. And then lift the bottom out and slide her out.
gently remove the tape. Don't rip it off because you'll end up damaging the pads. So gently. Right, to remove the old cable, we want to use hot air and gently heat the pads and peel it off. So what I'm doing now is reflowing all the solder on the pads before we refit the new cable. Okay, before soldering the new cable to the board, make sure you flux the contact pads on the board and the contact pads on the cable to make sure the solder sticks okay. We use no clean flux so there's no messing around. Right, let's get this soldered up. Okay, all soldered up. We taped the cable down to start with to line it up so it's not moving around when we're soldering it. Uh, if you want to zoom in, Aaron, and let people see the finished product. Okay, we'll power this up. Right, the screen is perfect. Obviously it's backwards because we're looking at the back of the screen, but it's working 100%. So we're pushing up the way. Slide the top in and push it up. There's a little protective film that will peel that off once we've got it all in situ. So four catches holding the board, rebuild the speedo needle, now when refitting it, put it on just a little bit. you'll feel there's a little sort of stop on the motor. So wind it back and you want it just below the zero. And then push it on properly.
so the same for the rev and the fuel just below the zero okay back on test working a hundred percent happy with that thanks for watching